today we have brigadier rajiv singh with us uh, he has immense experience of 34 years in indian army and he has contributed a lot in the modernization programs of indian army sir thank you shivam so if you can help us understand what electronic warfare is it is going to be very helpful for a layman to understand see with the modernization that has taken place in the battlefield and the revolution in military affairs which is you know continuously an ongoing process electronic warfare is going to be the most dominant facet in modern day warfare when we talk about electronic warfare in a layman's term what we understand is the control of the electromagnetic environment in the modern day battlefield through technology any force which is you know having a complete dominance of the electromagnetic spectrum in the mm. area of uh, operations yeah. is certainly going to rule the roost what what kind of challenges you generally face uh, while developing such indigenous systems in your daily lives most important challenge is you know you don't have access to enemy systems okay. so if you look at electronic warfare now mm. whatever with whatever background that i have given my system let's say if i am a electronic attacker i am going to attack the enemy system correct so to attack the enemy systems electronically i need to have the complete blueprint of that system mm -hmm. i need to know the complete technology as to what that system is using so that's not readily available and no country in this world would give a clear system so it's a continuous guessing game with while we know that and we understand that the technology number of technologies are limited so we have to keep continuously working on the permutations and combinations of this right 